Good day everyone and welcome to the beginner's tutorial of Sparta War of Empires by Polarium. We're going to start off a new account here and we're going to go through step by step the beginning stages of building up your castle, doing the first quest, building the first buildings, and building the first types of troops and we're going to talk about each of them as we go. So let's get into it right away here. So as you can see the game starts you off with the quest right away and it wants us to build a farm. So let's go right here and the arrows point to different spots that you need to go. So we're going to build the farm right away here. It's highlighted with that green button and it tells you exactly what it wants you to put it inside the castle. Now later on certain buildings can be moved around and customized a bit more but at first it kind of just gets you to put it in certain places and whatnot and that's nice because you don't have to worry about it. So the buildings build really quickly at the beginning. Later on they start to take a lot more time. And as you can see here, the quests give you a reward every time you complete one. So you get various different types of um, items here, such as drachmas, which is the in-game currency, which lets you buy different additional things, boost units, boost building times. Uh, also, the quest is giving us grain, timber, and bronze. All these resources are used to build more buildings, build more troop types, and whatnot. So let's claim that reward, and the next time, one it wants us to build is a forge. As we can see, the forge is right here. The forge is what lets us build bronze, which is one of our vital resources. And the farm that we just built let us, lets us build grain, which is to feed our different troops and whatnot, and we also need it to build additional troops and building types. Those three vital resources that we're looking at here, uh, with the last one being the lumber yard, which we're going to build right now, are all essential in keeping your castle going. So let's let that one build here. Take a couple seconds. Quest is complete and we just gained a level. So we just hit level two. Um, as you can see, we gain that level very fast. In the beginning, you gain levels very, very quickly. It doesn't start to slow down until like a level 20. So you can kind of, it kind of boosts you into it nicely and you can get different rewards when you gain each level. You gain levels by gaining experience. You get experience from building buildings, completing quests, uh, attacking other units and destroying other castle troops. Now we're, we're level two. Let's claim our reward for the lumber yard. Now we're going to sign our first agreement. So here's our first agreement. And the first agreement is roads. This agreement unlocks swordsmen. So agreements are basically um, different knowledge blocks. And as you, as you can see, you can go down a chain in different paths. Now these different paths allow you to um, unlock the new unit types, new troop types, new buildings, and also as you upgrade them they have various levels and your troops can become stronger and stronger as you upgrade them. So there we go, we just did that agreement, so now we can build swordsmen. So this is an interface quest, it's just trying to familiarize us with it, and it wants us to look at our reports. So over on the left here where you see this lady in armor, um, you can see agreements, diplomacy, trade, and warfare. And each one of these tabs gives you reports on different various things that you do in the game. So the agreements tab obviously shows you when you've completed an agreement and tells you which one it is. So let's check that out. We've done that. Claim that reward, which is a boost, which can speed up troop production or building time. Now the next thing it wants us to do is it wants us to build an infantry camp. So this is where we're going to create our troops. So this is a very vital building to build and you want this constantly going. You want to always be building troops. You don't want it to be idle, but that takes resources. Alright, so we just got... It wants us to build our first troop type, which we unlocked through that article, Rhodes, uh, is the swordsman. So let's build a swordsman. Just takes a few seconds so in the beginning everything builds really really quickly the game kind of speeds everything up just to launch you into it that much faster and get you running as time goes on those boosts become more and more important that we're receiving so you're going to want to hold on to them all right just another interface quest there we're just getting us to check out our warfare tab it's kind of familiarizing you with everything in your castle on the layout whatnot Sign agreement with kind of those. Okay. 
So here's our next agreement. This agreement lets us unlock Javaneers. So the Javs are a defensive unit. They're our first defensive type unit that you can build. So we're gonna need that. We, Swordsman was an offensive type unit. In this game, there's offensive type units and there's defensive type units. You can use either one to do the opposite, but they're very, very inefficient. You do not want to do it. It is a complete waste. Let's claim that one. So now it wants us to visit the market. So in the top right here, there's a market tab. This market tab is where you can spend your drachmas that we receive. We receive these drachmas from different quests and whatnot. You can also buy drachmas in the game with uh, real money. So you don't have to though because you can get drachmas through various quests. You can get them through leveling up as you've seen, rewards. Uh, and then as you save them up, you can buy different types of things such as special units, which are champion units here. You can buy resources if you need a resource boost. You can resurrect your units, you can buy um, all kinds of different stuff. But that's for a later guide, we'll talk about that more. Okay, let's claim the reward for that. Train Jazz, okay. So now it wants us to build, now that we've unlocked that agreement to build our first defensive type unit, we're going to build our first Javanir. And as you can see, it designates him as a defense unit with 19 defense points. The Swordman is designated as an offense unit with 40 offensive points. Let's claim the reward. Now it wants us to check out our messages. So, on the top here, it's another interface quest to familiarize you with the, the layout. Uh, you can see a little letter up at the very top here in the middle. And that's your messages. This is the in-game mailing system. So the M NPC Leonidas, who's the main the main character at the very center of the map, he sends you updates and whatnot, what's special events that are happening, um, uh, different tournaments that have finished, who won them and whatnot. But also you can message your, your um, coalition teammates. You can message your friends in the game and these letters will show here. It's just like an emailing system. Let's close that out. The next quest is it's going to get us to sign another agreement. So let's go over to the agreement tab here. So at the very top here, we have Calcus. This is to unlock your port. So your port, once you get this unlocked, you can build your port. Your port allows you to trade with other players in the game. It lets you post um, excess resources that you have. Uh, and you can you can trade those for other resources within the game with other players, and also lets you send uh, send resources to different castles. So let's open the achievement window here. This is the next quest. And the achievement tab up here, you can see is the little crown. Um, this this achievement tab shows a whole bunch of different badges, right? So. The first one we've completed is Construct 5 Buildings, so you get a reward as you unlock these achievements. They're basically a, a little motivation quest type system, and you get rewards as you go. You can focus on different ones at certain times, such as say you want to unlock uh, the Construct 10 Buildings one, you can do this. You can upgrade buildings, you get a reward for that. There's also ones for summoning heroes, there's ones for training different types of units, uh, there's ones for just upgrading buildings, forming alliances, and there's also ones for attacking at other enemies, doing spy missions, destroying units, sending reinforcements and whatnot. So there's you want to check that out in more depth later on on your own, and you're going to see that there's a whole bunch of these to do that are going to keep you busy for a long time. Claim the reward for that one. Now let's build the port. The port's the building that we talked about a minute ago that lets you trade resources. Go to the tab here, build the port. And the port has to go in this little spot on the water. Obviously it wants to go in the water because that's where they use the boat system to trade. And it's done. Sign another agreement. So let's check out the next agreement here. The next agreement lets us build walls, gates, and towers. So we're going to unlock this one right now. 
and these get better and better. As you can see, as you look down the chain here, there's different uh, agreements for this. So that means you can get better and better walls and gates and towers. Now, these do exactly what you think they would do. They help increase the defense of your, of your castle. So as you build these, um, it's gonna give a defense bonus to your troops that are located inside your castle. So if an enemy attacks you, the more walls you have, the more gates you have, the more towers you have, the better you are able to defend yourself against those attackers. And it's gonna be something that you definitely wanna build up. So let's build our first one just to show you what I'm talking about. Wants us to build a wall. So as you can see here, the walls cost drachmas. So this is one thing if you want to save up over time your drachmas that you're getting from different events, different quests and whatnot, you can spend your drachmas on building up your defense system. So here, let's build our first wall. Let's build a gate. So as you can see, it connects to the wall there, and it's got some units located on top of it. The gates offer more defense than walls, but you can only build two gates. Walls you can build a whole bunch of, and there's a limited amount of towers you can build too. So let's show you a tower example here. Put a tower over here. So now we have a wall, tower, and gate. The towers need to be resurrected if you get attacked and you lose, um, but they'll help you fight off enemies kind of like a little permanent unit that stays within your castle. Now we just got 25 drachmas for that quest, so we got all of our drachmas back for building those first buildings. So just as in summary here, uh, we've we've familiarized ourselves a bit more with the castle. We've built our first resource type buildings such as the lumberyard, the farm, and the forge. These are going to produce all the vital resources that we need. We can build more of these buildings as you go forward, and you're gonna wanna do that so that your production gets increased. We've built our infantry camp and unlocked a few of the agreements to get our first type of troops, such as the swordsman and the jab. These are our first offensive and defensive units. You're gonna wanna keep building these as much as you can so that you can defend your castle and you can attack other castles, uh, destroy your enemies, gather resources and whatnot. We've also built our port. Our port lets us trade with other players on the map and post excess resources that we have to get resources that we need. You're gonna to wanna to start using that right away too. Also, we've built our first fortification system, such as the tower, wall, and gate to help defend our castle. I hope that you enjoyed this uh, tutorial and we're gonna be making a lot more of these, more in-depth one, more advanced ones, and I hope to see you again next time. Thanks everyone.